Good evening, Gilberto. Hello, hello. Good evening. Good evening, teacher. Good evening. Okay, we have Andres and Rodrigo, but they are as a listeners at uh, this moment because they are driving. How are you doing today, Gilberto? Uh, today, teacher, uh, very nice. Uh, Thank you for us. Okay, very nice. Thank you for us. Yes. Okay. Yes. Good. Good. Welcome, uh, Sophia. I can see, okay, Sophia told me that she will be as a listener today because she is working. Okay. Well, today well, is today uh, Thursday, October 26, 2023. So we're going to, to start the class uh, number 17. Let me share my screen. Okay. Welcome, lady. Welcome, Kathy. Hi. How are you doing today? Everything is good. Hi, teacher. Hi. Okay, thank you so much for being here on time. Uh, I'm going to just to make sure at this moment who will be um participating. I have Gilberto that is um available. Uh, Andres. Rodrigo and Sofia are as a listener at the moment. Okay, then we have Lady. Are you available? Lady? Yes, teacher. Okay. And then we have Kathy. Kathy, are you available? Kathy Briseida. Please let me know, okay, if you will be as a listener because I want to make sure because sometimes I am not sure because uh, that word that says oyente is from the previous class that you were as a, as a listener. So if you don't change the word, so it will it will be the same when you log in, in in Zoom. That is why I ask you because I'm not sure. Okay, Gabriela. Hello, Gabi. 
Hi. Are you available? Ready? Yes, ready. Okay, good. Okay. Uh, let me see. I hope the rest join us later. Okay, good. We're going to have the agenda. We have a lesson objective, production. We're going to speak about production process this, in this class. And at the end, well, we have a conversation pending from yesterday activity, right? So that is pending. Uh, we're going to do that, complete that activity today. Uh, then we have uh, the lesson objective. At the end of this class, the students will be able to design a basic plan uh, for manufacturing process of a new product. So we're going to speak about how, how to, or we're going to speak about uh, about your company in, if you manufacture product there. Okay, Maria Leticia, welcome. Maria Leticia. Can you hear me? Maria Leticia. Hello, hello. Good evening, teacher. Good evening. Okay. Just to make sure that you are available to participate. Okay. We have Gilberto, Lady, Gabriela, and Maria Leticia. And then the rest is as a they are as a listeners at the moment. Okay, we are going to analyze this video. Let me send the, the link to you. I want that, that you uh, pay attention. If that is okay for you, activate the um, subtitles in order you can read at the same time and you can understand better. Okay. Uh, what else can I tell you? Oh, you can reproduce twice the video to make sure that you understand. I will give you six minutes in order you can do that. Uh, just let me open the chat. I'm going to send the link there. Just allow me a moment. Okay, there you have the video. So I will give you six minutes. Okay, pay attention, take notes, because I'm going to ask you some questions later. Okay. Good. The time is start now.
Okay, okay. Did you finish? Yes, I can finish. Yes, yes. Okay, very good. Uh, what is the main topic in the video? Uh, <clears throat> what is the main idea? Uh, uh, the product uh, quality presentation uh, and fabrication the product. Okay, the production of the shampoo. Yes. Right? The production of the health, health shoulder shampoo. Okay, good. Thank you so much. Uh, Hilberto, lady, where is located this production uh, line? Um, no remember, teacher. At the beginning, it says. So you can you can play the video again and pay attention what says at the beginning where they are located. Okay. Mm -hmm. What is that question, teacher? Where is located that that uh, production? Oh, yeah, in France. France, okay. Born okay. In France. in France, okay, very good. Glorious France. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um. Julio, are you available? Yes. Yes. Okay. How many bottles they produce per minute? Uh, more than a million. I don't uh, to check it. I lit. I listen. They said several hundred, several uh, hundred produced by me, by, by every minute. Yeah. Okay. 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 Uh, Gabby, do they have quality control? quality control yeah do they have quality control according what is what is mentioned in the video mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. yes or I no i remember that the man told about the best <laughs> shampoo <laughs> the producing mm -hmm. that the quality I don't know. <laughs> yes, they do, right? And they take care of that the same quality is in every single bottle. <laughs> oh, <thank you. laughs> okay. Uh, Maria Leticia, do they test um Every bottle? De Leticia? Yes. Yes, they do, right? That is what quality control, control do, okay? They make sure that every single bottle is um, excellent, that they have a good quality. They check that, that the right right amount of shampoo is in each bottle. Okay, good. Uh, let me see. Lady, what is your opinion about the video? What is your opinion about the production? Um...
the control because um, it's important every bottle um, uh -huh. it's important um, because every bottle Eh, como cuidar la calidad de cada de cada bote take care take or make care. sure make sure that all all the bottles have the same quality ok teacher yes maria leticia inside that there is only one chance to make a first impression uh -huh. yes there is just only one chance to, to make a first impression. Because when you buy a product, so <clears throat> you continue using that product if you like it, right? If that is good in quality, uh, there are different characteristics that you uh, evaluate in a product. If that If that is good for you, if that like you, so you will continue buying the same product. If not, you're going to change. Okay, really good, good. I'm going to bring these short uh, videos, okay, at the beginning of the class to discuss, but because I want that you pay attention to details and uh, um, also that you practice your listening skill. That is important, okay? To practice your listening and skills. Okay, good. So, we're going to present the, the presentation that we have pending from yesterday. The, the ones that are available, we'll do it right now. The ones that are not, they will do it later or, or tomorrow. Let me see. In the group one, we have uh, uh, Carlos, Gilberto, and Rodrigo. So Carlos and Rodrigo are not available at this moment. Um, do you want to to present your part, Gilberto, or do you want to wait for them? Uh, <clears throat> can you repeat, teacher? Okay, podemos esperar a los compañeros que faltan o ustedes dicen su parte. ¿Qué deciden uh, para los que están? Como solo hemos hecho una parte de la presentación. Oh, you haven't completed yet. So in that case, yes. we have pending that. So yes. who who finished yesterday? Who completed? Yes. Okay. ¿Quién la terminó ayer? Eh, pues Rodrigo la, la editó, ¿verdad? Mm. Okay, I, I understand, Gilberto. De su grupo entiendo que le falta... De los demás grupos, uh, who is done with that presentation? Or do you need more time? My group is not finished, the, the exercise teacher. No yet, Rolando? No yet, teacher. No yet. Okay, Rolando, you were working with Mauricio and Mauricio Andres. Buruca and Andres. Okay, no problem. So we're I'm going to give you an extra time to do that. I'm going to give you um extra time once that Andres is is available because he is driving at the moment. Okay, so in that case, I'm going to skip this this uh, activity for now, and I'm going to give you extra time at the end. Okay, <clears throat> we're going to start discussing about the the topic that is manufactured products. Okay, so. For the ones that manufacture products in your company, okay? Are production processes updated frequently? Is there a quality control department of your company? Uh -huh. uh, teacher, in my case, in my company, the area, uh, control quality uh, 
the product garlic uh, verification the pro uh, the, the quality for store uh, super selecto mm -hmm. y yes uh, you have quality our, control yes our is quality okay control. Okay. Okay. Thank you so much, Gilberto. Someone else company that manufacture product. No. Okay. Well, we're going to continue. We have a conversation. I yes, think, Gabriela. Uh -huh. I think the our group uh, gets uh, ready to the presentation. Oh, your team is ready. So, what is Gabby, Lady, and Maria Leticia? Well, the same as you. <laughs> Maria Leticia, I think that. Uh, yes, but you lady. Okay, yes. <laughs> okay, but don't worry, uh, you're going to present later, okay? Because I'm going to give extra time for the rest. So we're going to move on, move that activity at the end. At the okay. end of the class. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Gabri Gabriela. So we have a conversation here. We are going to read the conversation, okay? And uh, pay attention to the grammar because we're going to see a different grammar point. Okay, three managers, we have three managers in a meeting. Uh, to they are discussing the production process, okay? Of a new shampoo. Read a conversation and take turns practicing. Lucia, Marta, and Greg. Okay, Lucia says, I wonder if you received a copy of the of the analysis for the production process. Marta says, I have. Thank you. And Greg says, I have. Thank you, Lucia. Lucia, perfect. I'd like, I like us to, to revise the steps to verify that we are ready to start a pro the, a start producing our new shampoo. Greg, right, I'll, I'd like to know if the quality control step should be repeated once the product is finished. Lucia, yeah, then that's a good point, Greg. Martha, would you mind tell us if the cost of the run, if the cost to run a second quality control will go very high? Martha, of course. Let me revise my files. Lucia, Greg, could you find out if the production manager is around? I need him to clarify what the revision step is about. Okay. If you pay attention here, so they are using a um, polite way to, uh, to ask questions, okay? For example, I wonder if, uh -huh, I like to know if, okay? Will you mind, okay? Could you find, they are using polite requests, okay? To, request uh, to ask information. Okay, very good. So raise your hands if you want to practice the conversation. I need three volunteers per each time. Okay, first Andres. Thank you, Andres. Okay, I have Gilberto. Julio. Maria Leticia. Lady. Okay, good. So 
Andres, Maria Leticia, and Lady. So Andres, you will be Greg, Lucia will be Lady, and Martha will be Maria Leticia. Okay. <clears throat> Go ahead. Andres, yeah. you are the first one. Uh, I am grip teacher. Oh, yes, yes, I'm yeah. sorry. Yes, yes, yes. Lady, <laughs> lady, lady, you are okay. the first one. Okay, I wonder if you receive a copy of the analysis for the production process. I have, thank you. I have, thank you, Lucia. Perfect. I like this to revise the steps to verify that we are ready to start producing our new shampoo. Right. I would like to know if the quality control step should be re repeated. One of the product is finished. Yeah, that's good point, Greg. Marta, would you mind telling us if the cost to run a second quality control will go very high? Of course. Let me revise my fight. Greg, could you find out if the production manager is around? I need him to clarify what the revision step is about. About. Okay, very good. Thank you so much. Okay, guys. Um, pay attention to some uh, words pronunciation. For example, lady received. Receive. Mm -hmm. You said recite. Okay, receive. Uh huh. Thank you so much. Okay, this other word should remember that you know you don't pronounce the L in this case. Just should 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 mm -hmm. should and also um could could you don't pronounce the L. Just could. Okay, really good. Thank you so much. Um, okay, now will be Gilberto, Julio, and Rodrigo. Gilberto, you will be Lucia. Julio, you will be Martha and Greg, Rodrigo. Can I start now? Okay, I wonder if you say a copy of the analysis for the product process. I have, thank you. I have, thank you, Lucia. Perfect. I like us to revise to a step to verify, verify that we are ready to start producing a new shampoo. Right. I like to know if the quality control step should be repeated once the product is finished. Yeah, that's a good point, Greg. Marta, would you mind telling is, us if the cost to run a second quality control will go very high? high? Of course, uh, let me revise my file. Greg, will you find our the production manager is around. I need him to clarify what the revision, revision sticks, stick is about. Thank you so much. Very good job. Okay, uh, Gilberto, please pay attention to the following words, okay? Received. Received. Verified. Verified. Could. 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 Ok, no Good. menciona la L, ok, solo C. la C O P. Could. Good. Clarify. Clarify. 
step. Step. Okay. And how do you pronounce? Shampoo. 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 Sh shampoo. 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 Okay. Really good. Thank you so much. Uh, do you have any uh, questions about this conversation? No? Okay, well, thank you so much, uh, Rodrigo and uh, Gilberto Julio, okay? Uh, if you need to eat, Rodrigo and Andres, because I, I know that you just arrived to your house. So you can do it, okay? You have permission. <laughs> yes, okay. you, you read my mind, teacher, right now. <laughs> I'll, I'll wait for, for my huevito. <laughs> okay. No problem, teacher. I, I, I'll notify you. Okay. Well, thank, thank you so you. much. Okay, good. Okay, really good. Uh, Someone else who wants to participate? I have just six um, volunteers that participated. What about the rest? Mm -hmm. Another three volunteers. Okay, Mauricio Bruca. Thank you. Who else? Remember three. Okay, Gabriela and Rolando. Thank you so much. Okay. So Mauricio, you will be Lucia, Gabby, you will be Martha, and Greg, uh, Rolando. Okay, sure. I wonder if I received a copy of the analysis for the production process. I have, thank you. I have, thank you, Lucia. Perfect. I liked I liked us to re revise the steps to verify that we are ready to start producing our new shampoo. Right. I would like to know if there are quality control steps should be repaired on the products is finished. Yeah, that's a good point, Greg. Marta, would you mind telling us? if the cost to run a second quality control will go very high. Of course, let me revise my files, 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 files. Greg, could you find out if the production manager is around? I need him to clarify what the revision step is about. Thank you so much. Okay, Gabby. Revise. Revise. Revise my files. Files. Mm -hmm. Files. files. <laughs> okay. Repeated. Okay. Repeated. Oh, you can say with T. Repeated. Repeated. Okay. The, the, the bird that is in past here. Uh, what is it? here? Repeat it. Okay. Well, thank you so much. Really good job. Good. Okay. Um, now you can load your hands. So we're going to move on to the grammar part, well, to the questions that I have about the this conversation, okay? What is the new product Lucia, Martha, and Greg are discussing about? Uh-huh. What is the name of the product? Shampoo. Okay, it is a shampoo. Okay, good. What are two steps of the production process they mentioned in the conversation? Two steps of the production. Quality control. Quality control, that is one. Mm 
What is the other one? And ready to start production. Mm. No. Mm -mm. No. Uh -huh. What is the other step? To, re to revise, 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 okay, revision is to revise the step to verify, to verify that we are ready to start production, production. Okay. Good. Revise. <coughs> revise. Okay. What did Greg suggest about the production process? Greg. Hmm? He, he suggests Could you that mention? to make another uh, quality control once the product uh, is already, well, will ready finish <coughs> okay once the product is finished mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. okay do a second revision right okay very good thank you so much good okay really good so there we are trying to comprehend the reading right the conversation through these questions good okay now i bring to you um how to use in indirect questions okay and yes no questions we are going to see the difference between them use indirect questions to ask questions in a in a more polite manner okay what was me i was mentioning at the beginning in the conversation that we can identify here Okay, the letters that are in bold, that they are uh, polite uh, questions or polite phrases to ask a question, right? For example, I wonder if, if you receive a copy of the analysis, right? That, it, that make it polite, okay? Other example that we have is, I like to know if, okay, would you mind, okay, and who could you find, okay, that make it polite. It's not like uh, direct. That is why it's called indirect questions. <clears throat> okay. Uh, indirect question expresses the same meaning as a direct question, but it doesn't present questions, question word order. We have the following examples. Okay, number one it says, I wonder if you receive a copy of the analysis or the production process. Okay, compare it to, la comparamos con, la B. Did you receive a copy of the analysis for the production process? Uh -huh. In that case, it is a yes, no question. The, the answer will be yes, I did or no, I didn't, right? So how do you prefer that someone ask you that question? I wonder if you receive or direct question, did you receive? Uh -huh. It is the same idea okay yes, they are they, they are asking the same information but different way to say it the letter a okay letter a right because that is polite okay good we have another example here number two i like to know if the quality control step should be repeated once the production is finished Okay, the other way that we have here, 
Should the quality control step be repeated once the product is finished? Okay. So see the difference, right? Um, <clears throat> the way that, that we receive the information is different, right? So that it, it is the same when you uh, try to give feedback to someone, right? It depends on the tone of voice or the way that you said they deliver the information that will be the impact that the other person will have. Um, you can say the same information, but what is going to make the change is the form that you deliver the message, right? That you ask in this case. Okay, we have a, here another example. It says, Martha, would you mind telling us if the cost of the run, the cost to run the second quality control will go very high? Okay. So the other direct question says, will will the cost to run a second quality control go very high? Okay, direct. So the second example here, Greg. Could you mind? Could you find out if the production manager is around? Okay. The direct question is, is the production manager around? Okay. So the same is asking the same information, but in different ways, different uh words. Okay. So notice that if introduces the indirect question will be which will be sentence ordered. Subject plus verb, okay, helping verbs like do, does, and did are included in indirect questions. Are not included, I'm sorry, in the indirect questions. Okay, be careful with punctuation. So in this case, uh, when the introductory statement in a phrase, okay, the resulting statement with an indirect question will take a period and no a question mark at the end. If you realize it doesn't have a question mark at the end when you use an indirect question, right? When the introductory statement is a question, there's the resulting statement with the indirect question, with the indirect question will take a question mark at the end, okay? So, it's making a difference, right? The one that doesn't have here, the mark quotient, the question mark, I'm sorry, in the in the left uh, doesn't have question mark and the right side, it has the question mark, okay? So in this case, the difference is When it's a phrase, it doesn't have question mark, okay? But when uh, it's a question, it does, okay? Um, in these cases, I wonder if that is a phrase. The segment, the, the segment is a phrase. So, but in this case, would you mind? It is a, it's a question. Could you find? It is a question. So in that case, yes, we'll have question mark. Okay. But that is that is specific uh words that you say that make you polite. So it could be a phrase or it could be a question since the very beginning. Okay, good. Do you have questions about this? What is the difference between indirect questions and direct questions? Uh-huh. Tell me if you have questions. Take your time. Tómense su tiempo para procesarla. Okay? And tell me if you have questions or everything is clear. If everything is clear, <clears throat> I need a volunteer 
that explain me the difference between the between them indirect questions and direct questions explain the difference between them to make it clear We're going to do examples to make sure that you have understood, okay? So, if you don't want to give me an explanation, but we're going to create examples. But first, we're going to do the, this exercise, and then we're going to create examples. We're going to write indirect, indirect questions, okay, for one of your classmates or to one of your classmates, okay? Use the introductory phrases and questions to write indirect yes, no questions. Compare answers with partners. Okay, I will give you, let me see, two minutes for each one, 12 minutes from now to do it. And then I will ask you one by one. Do it in your, in your notebook. <clears throat> or you can do it in, in the computer if you want to do it in the computer. As you can see the first one, right? We have this phrase, right? And we have the direct question here. Is, mm -hmm. we have different questions here. Will, are, does, will, and did. Wow. So that make it, Direct, but we have phrases before that that will make it indirect. I was wondering, do you have any idea? I'd like to find out. Do you know? I'd like to know. And can you tell me? Teacher, in the case, can you tell me this machine is called copper of performance performance DC process? Mm -hmm. You said, uh, Gilberto, can, can you, you tell, tell me? me if the, the if the machinery capable of performing these processes if the uh -huh. can in, you tell me if the, the machinery, machinery is capable is, of performing these processes right if uh -huh. if if okay Okay, number two, Rodrigo. Uh, as as I understand this, uh, I think uh, it is. I like to know if the manufacturer boy new ma ma machinery to produce our orders on time. Okay, very good. 
It will have a, a question mark at the end or we remove it? We remove it because we use a, I like to know and if uh -huh, it is an indirect. Indirect, okay, very good. Okay, thank you so much. Okay, number three. Um, let me see. Lady, number three. Do you know are the schedule and production control forms completely complete? Mm, si utilizamos do you, oh, quitamos do you el are. Mm -hmm. So in that case, how will be? Do you know the schedule and production control forms complete? Okay, we we are going to go back here. Okay. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Sorry. Do condition. you know, right? Do you know? Show. Le vamos a agregar if. If. Mm -hmm. Do you know if the if schedule and production control for us complete? Okay, so we can re we remove R and we add if. So okay. in this case, we, we can use R at the end here. Okay. Do you know if the schedule and production control forms are completed? Okay. Okay, but that will be at the end. It is no questions because the the question uh auxiliar the auxiliar question is at the beginning. Okay, at the end will be just to complete the uh, the question. Okay, number four. Let me see. Me? Okay. Julio. Okay. I'd like to find out if the operation plan describes the process parameter. Okay, very good. I'd like to find out if the operation plan describes the process parameters. And we remove the question mark, yes or not? I'm sorry, teacher. Do we remove the question mark in the number four? Um, I'd like to find out if the operation plan. Uh, remember, the operation... remember that in this case, we start with a phrase. Si comienza con una frase, ya no necesitamos el question mark aquí. Si comienza con una question aquí, sí. Okay. Uh -huh. So in this case, yes, we remove that question mark. It will be just period at the end. Okay. Okay, okay. Mm -hmm. Okay, number five. Andres, number five. Do you have an idea if we go for a small bat, bat or mass production? Okay, very good. Do we keep the question mark? Yes, because we use to do you. Do you? Uh -huh. we have to. Excellent. Yes. We have to good. use it. Teacher. Yes. Where is the a small bat? At B A T A. Mm -hmm. the small batch. What, what, what is the, the meaning of batch? Mm -hmm. <laughs> or, small batch or mass production. So in this case, uh, it is talking, well, you know what is a small, right? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So if, if the production will be a small or big, that is 
that is what he is asking. Okay. Uh -huh. Es como un lote pequeño. O, o va a ser grande. Ah, okay. Okay. Uh -huh. Okay, really good. Number six, volunteers for number six. Me, teacher. Go ahead, Robert. I was wondering if you received the quote of the raw material provider. In this case, remove the question mark. We we'll remove it, right? Yes. Okay, really good. <laughs> Excellent. Okay. I like it. Okay, I consider that you have understood the differences between uh, between and indirect equation and direct equation. So, uh, please tell me if you have questions at the at the at this moment for this grammar point. If no, we're going to work on this activity, okay? Write two indirect equations for one of your classmates. And one, and one direct two direct indirect and one direct equation for one of your classmates. Or to one of your classmates. Okay, so you are going to work on it. You are going to write two indirect equations and one indirect equation to someone in the class, okay? And that person will answer. It depends on if that is uh yes, no question, direct question, or in the indirect question, okay? So think it in what kind of information you are going to ask that person, okay? At the moment, just Sophia is as a listener. Let me see if I have someone else. Do not make questions for Sophia. Make it for someone else. Carlos, this is a listener too. Do not make questions for Carlos. Cindy and... but they are not here okay so just for carlos and sofia they are as a listeners then you can make questions for gilberto rodrigo andres robert julio uh kathy lady gabriela maria leticia rolando mauricio I'm going to leave this just as a guide for you. You can use the phrases that are there. Or you can use this that we have here. Can you tell me? I would like to know. Do you know? Using do or in does. I'd like to find out. Do. But I was wondering. We are going to we're going to make two indirect questions, right? Two, uh huh, and one direct. This is, ah, okay. Uh, this is individual. It is. Mm -hmm. okay. Just two sentences. Three questions in total. So you are going to write two indirect questions and one direct question to one ah, okay, of your okay. classmates. Mm -hmm. Select okay, one of okay. your classmates and think what kind of questions you are going to ask. Ah, mm -hmm. okay, okay, okay. I will give you. Let me 
see. No more than 10 minutes. 10 minutes maximum. But if you are ready before 10 minutes, let me know. Okay. Let me know when you are ready, please. Andres, are you ready? Yes, teacher. Okay. 
the rest, do you need extra minutes? Uh -huh. Please let me know if you are ready. Please raise your hands if you are ready. How many minutes do you need? Two or three? Okay, lady, thank you. Don't, teacher. Thank you, Rodrigo. What about you, Gilberto? Ready? Gilberto. Are you ready? What about you, uh, Robert? Roberto. Ten. Yes? I'm ready. Okay. Julio? I'm ready, please. Okay. Katy? Yes, teacher. Thank you, Kathy. Gabby? Ready? Gabriela? Maria Leticia? Yes, teacher. Rolando Danilo? Rolando? Uh, I don't know, teacher. Two sentences. Two or three. I mean, two, two, two. direct and one direct. Right now, two, two sentences. Two. Okay. Okay. So you have time to do the other. Okay. Mauricio, what about you? Uh, I have two, teacher. Two. Yeah. Okay. You will be the... Mm, well, the yes, it's okay. Andres, you will be the first one. Who is your hey, big, who is your victim? Uh, <laughs> no, who, who is your partner? The one that you select. <laughs> <laughs> um, uh, Carlos. Uh, Roberto Carlos, because Carlos Arsenio is not available today. Ah, okay. So, entonces, so, Roberto Carlos, yeah. Okay, Roberto. Go ahead. Do you know uh, study English? Can you please repeat, Andres, because uh, I guess we are having issues with the audio. Okay. Do you know if Carlos study English at 8 p.m.? Ah, uh, Robert. Okay. Uh, no, I don't because um, uh, I I don't speak with Carlos about about this, this time, but I know he studies. Um, Monday to Friday at uh, 8 p.m. to to 10 p.m. Carlos, my part, my part in English class. Okay, that was the direct question, right, Andres? What do you air in your company? Uh, Andrés, try to make the indirect questions, okay? Ya le hizo una oh, no, directa. Ya le hizo una directa. Now use the phrases or ways to ask indirect questions. Ah, otra indirecta. I'm sorry, teacher. I listen you direct. <laughs> no. Two indirect, indirect. questions okay, okay. and one direct. The... Okay. The, the other indirect. 
Roberto, could you tell me if Rolando is missing? Andresito, can you repeat again? Yes, Roberto. Roberto, could you tell me if, Rola, if Rolando is missing to English class? Uh, yes. Uh, I know Rolando sometimes is missing the English class because he, he works far or to the home. For example, I know Rolando works in San Salvador and sometimes he he find a, a lot of traffic in the in the road. For that reason, he missed some class English uh, Sunday. Thank you so much. He works. Uh, if you speak in the present, uh -huh, please do not forget to add the letter S in third person, okay? Do you have the, another question, Andres, or only that? The, 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 the direct question, teacher, uh -huh. that is, how, Roberto, how much do you earn in your company? <laughs> okay, um, right now, uh, I earn around five, $500, but my, but, but my goal, uh, for next year, is uh, I get a better job in in a uh, in a company of English or in a call center, or I I hope I will travel to USA for that reason. Uh, right now I need to improve my skill English because um, I I hope get air more money. Thank you so much, Robert, for sharing that information. Was it, it was a specific. <laughs> okay. Uh, I want to improve my English skills. That is a correct point. Okay. English skills. You said my skill English. So my English skills. Okay. <laughs> Thank you so much. Okay, Robert. Now is your turn. Uh, I change partner or, or the same partner? No, you can change. You design. Okay. Um, my question is for Rolando Danilo. Okay. Rolando, are you there? Rolando Danilo. Okay, teacher. Okay, go ahead. Hello, Mr. Rolando. Hello. I have a question for you. Number one. Okay. I wonder did you study English English on weekend? Yes, I study. I study English um the weekend uh the, the schedule is uh at the uh, eight uh, PM to, to 10, 10 p.m. Okay. Okay, the second question is, um, I, I like to know if you listen to music in English every day? Yes, yes, I like the, the uh, uh, today I listen uh, to music, the uh, romance, uh, uh, I practiced uh, the scenic uh, um, the house uh, is a uh, um, uh, very uh, uh, very well for me. Okay, and the last question is why why do you study English in in what is your goal about about the English class? Uh, repeat, please. Okay. Uh, why 
do you study English? And what is your goal about the English class? Ah, okay. Um, I study English uh, for my for a, a better job. Too. Is it is important for me that uh, um for my light is 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 very important. Okay, thanks a lot. Thank you. Okay, to have better job opportunities, Rolando. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah, yeah. It is, it is, it's no, uh, it's no, I think that, that in that moment, did you? Mm -hmm. Okay, so you said that you studied English on Sundays from 8 to 10. Correct? Did you say that? Rolando? Sorry? You said that you study English in another place on weekends. So on Sundays? Uh, uh, no, 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 no. The, no. the study English is, is for a regal international there. Um, from Monday to Friday, yeah. From Monday to Friday? Yeah. Okay. What time do you study? Uh, I study um, at uh, 8 p.m. To, to 10 p.m. Okay. Okay. Well, thank you so much. Okay, um, Rolando, now is your turn. Tell me who uh, will be your interviewee. Okay, teacher. Um, uh, Mr. Gilberto. Gilberto. Okay, Gilberto. Yeah. Okay, don't Rolando. <clears throat> Okay, uh, you had a, a, a three question, Gilberto. Um, can can Gilberto tell me the the chicken is clean? Uh. Kitchen is clean. Kitchen, kitchen is clean, perdón. Kitchen. Okay. Ah. Kitchen is clean. Yeah. It's clean. clean. Uh, 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 yes. Uh, 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 it's clean kitchen. The Sunday for cooking this 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 day uh, in my house. Okay. Okay. That is one. Okay, one question. What is the other one? Um. Rolando? Okay. Two two question. Um, do Gilberto know the school is far? Uh, in the case, um, is near the school. The school uh, in San Salvador. In other case, yes, uh, I study. I from Nicaragua. Okay. 
only that, Rolando, or do you have uh, other questions? Uh, only that, but uh, the question number three is not complete, teacher. Okay. Only that. Okay. okay. Uh, so if you said, do Gilberto know, right? So in that case, if you mentioned the name, do Gilberto, so that will be, does Gilberto, okay? Does Gilberto know? Okay. If the school is far, you said. Yeah. Okay. 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 But that okay, was a direct question. So, do you know, right? Do you know Gilberto? Okay. Do you know? Well, you cannot mention the name. Just do you know if the if uh the school is far? Ah, okay. Mm -hmm. Okay, teacher. Okay. Thank you. Okay, Gilberto, who will be yes, your uh, classmate? Uh, Rodrigo. Okay. Rodrigo. Hello, Mr. Gilberto. Can you tell me working uh, the Navy company? Can you please repeat, Hilbert? I'm sorry. Yes, please. To to can to understand. Me, uh -huh, uh -huh. Can you tell me uh, uh, the names the working? The name. I guess he. Work. Uh huh. I guess he wants the, to know the name of the company where you work. Ah, okay. Uh, the company's name is Cycron del Salvador. Cycron. Uh -huh. All right. And, and the other pre uh, question uh, <clears throat> uh, would you mean telling me uh, as, as the direction the company direction this your company the the address the address the address the your company the address of the company uh, the address of the company it is in Colonia La Rabida. All right. Uh, Colonia La Rabida. Okay. Uh, mm. Only could that you is... tell me Oh, uh, do you have another uh, question? Yeah, could you tell me what bus uh Near the company. Sorry, please. Uh, can you repeat me, Mr. Gilberto? Could you tell me tell me uh, the bus the bus uh, near the company? I guess he wants to ask you. Could you tell me mm -hmm. uh, what? What is the bus? Okay, the bus that uh, goes near of your company. Yeah, sorry, teacher. The, uh, the I, bus I, the the bus that work or pass around or near of your company. You you tell another place near to the company. No, el quiere saber el bus <laughs> que pasa. Ah. Is that the true, Gilberto? Sí, que pasa más cerca de su empresa. The bus, ajá, the bus route. Eh, mm, I, I don't know all the routes, <laughs> but <laughs> I think... What? Ah, la... <laughs> the, the tree, the route, the, the tree route. That is tree route. <laughs> wait, wait, I, I have, I have a... 
a soplona here. Uh -huh. <laughs> Your wife is, she, is she, telling she you. Know, she knows much more than I. Okay. Uh -huh. <laughs> la otra. Ah, so, solo esa. <laughs> That's the only uh, no. There are there are any any other routes, but the uh, three route and I think I think uh, the nine route. La nueve no pasa ahí. <laughs> ah, también dice. <laughs> Ay, Rodrigo. So we can notice you, that you Rodrigo. never take the bus to go to work. No, Just no. Uh, in my uh, in my in my university time, I ha I I I took all the bus uh, thirty thirty uh, the thirty B, the one hundred one D, and sometimes I took the the forty four. No, 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 the forty four. No, the twenty six. <laughs> the twenty six. Ah, okay. La rápida. Ajá. La rápida de la universitaria. Colonia San Luis también. Okay. Okay. He, uh, Gilberto, please pay attention how you how you structure your equation, okay? Because that was the inconvenience that we had that Rodrigo was uh uh having dif difficulties to understand what you we're asking, okay? Mr. Gilberto speak Dutch, so that's why I don't understand <laughs> Dutch <laughs> language. Pay attention, Gilberto, okay? Please be careful okay. with the structure of your sentences, okay? Because the three, three questions were difficult to understand, okay? So that is why we need to be careful with that, okay? Please... Um, okay. Send me the questions to the chat. Try to improve them and send me the questions to the chat and I will help you, okay? Okay. Okay, good. Thank you so much. Rodrigo, now mm -hmm. is your turn. Car Carlos Arsenio is, is now available, so we can ask him. Damn. I'm ready, teacher. Okay. I'm ready. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> Aha, uh -huh, Mr. Carlos. Aha, uh -huh, hello. Good hello. evening, everyone. I have some questions to ask you. Yeah, so go ahead. please play, play, pay attention. <clears throat> okay. Go Carlos, ahead. could you tell me if the cashew tree have some fruits? Cashew <laughs> seeds. The cashew tree. Uh, Yes, it is. Okay. Uh, that will be the correct answer, Carlos? I don't know, teacher. Uh, please feel back. Remember that I, I, I use cool. So you must to use cool in your, in your answer. For uh -huh. example, yes, it could it be. Mm-hmm. Yes, it could it be. It could it be. be. If you are not sure, right? Because I guess that this time ah. we don't have uh there is no season <laughs> I, for I, that for that fruit, right, Rodrigo? I'm not I'm not sure. No. There is no yes. it's not the season right now. The response right. is yes, could be. You can say yes, it could be. Mm -hmm. It could be. Ah, yes. okay. Es como que no estoy seguro, pero podría ser. Uh -huh. Podría ser. Uh, okay. Okay. Uh, my other question, indirect question is, I wonder if you have time to check with me the English new homework. Could you repeat, please, the, the question? I, I wonder, I wonder if, if you have time to check with me the English new homework. Menos un punto, dice. <laughs> Come on, Carlos. <laughs> what part do you, uh, is the difficult for you? Everything. <laughs> okay. I, okay. Want, I, 
Make I, it I, direct. I, I, I will. Rodrigo. I, I, okay. Omit the phrase <laughs> indirect and do it direct. Do you have Do you have the time to chat with, with me the English new homework? Uh, yes, I do. I have time to review. Okay. Uh, yes. Okay. Now, now my indirect question or my polite question is, uh -huh. I wonder if you have the time to check with me the English new homework. What's mean I wonder? Me I pregunto. wonder, me pregunto. Ah, okay. Uh, yes, it could be. Okay. And my ultimate question, I will be the bot. Uh, okay. I want to ask you, I want to ask you if the English class continue until December? Uh, when the the response is negative, uh, how how should be response? Mm -hmm. Teacher. So if you don't know the answer, how you are going to answer that question? If you are not sure about the response, so uh -huh. you can say I'm not sure. So let me ah. ask. Ah. Okay. Um, I'm not sure. Okay, so the indirect way is I like to ask you if the English classes should continue until December. I'm not sure. Let me ask you. Let me ask okay. my teacher. Let me ask. <laughs> <laughs> Let me ask my teacher. Miss teacher. Okay. Okay. Oh, if that was direct at the, at the, the first one, Rodrigo, Yes. Can you please tell me the direct? Oh, I didn't pay attention. So in that case, sorry. Ah, uh, well, it, it is improved. But uh, I want to ask you if English classes continue until December. Oh, but if I want to ask you, make it uh, make it indirect. Well, I think in this it's, case it's, it will be is it? Oh, is or, it? Or, or will will the or will it the English English classes continue until December? I think we can I can use will or it. If you make it's, it indirect. I would like to know if the English classes can, uh, will end until December, you can ask. But mm -hmm. that make it uh, indirect. So that means mm -hmm. that we don't have like a uh, root uh, or a specific uh, response like a yes, I, I know, yes, I do, or no, I don't, because it make it indirect. So you can say, um no i'm not sure or let me ask someone else to to know the response so my my point is that you can provide um different answers that are not according to to the to to the question because it's indirect it is not like the direct questions that when you use do or the verb be so you can say no I no I don't or yes I do and then you can provide extra information. Right. No, I don't know if you can understand my point. Teacher, uh can I ask uh a question indirect yes. or indirect question to Rodrigo? Go ahead. Uh, no. yes, maybe <laughs> <laughs> okay, no. maybe it could be uh do you know what is the capital of Australia is? Sydney. It is Sydney. Uh, okay. Uh okay, Carlos, in that case you say, do you know which is mm -hmm. or what is the Australia capital? 
Okay. Yes. Do you know what is the capital yes, of I, Australia? Yes, I do. It is Sydney. Okay. Okay. Good. That is direct, Carlos. Make direct. one. That is direct. Make one um, indirect. <clears throat> okay. Uh -huh. But uh, what is the capital of Australia is direct question, right? That is yes. a direct question, but you're going to make it indirect, indirect if you add these phrases. For example, I wonder if I would like to know, would, would you mind telling me, okay, could you find out what is the um, Australian capital? So you're going to add that phrases or questions that make make them polite. Mm -hmm. Okay. For so example, here we have different... I wonder where I, where I can sit. Uh huh. Yeah. Okay. Yes, mm -hmm. that is one other example. Oh. Good. Okay. Do you have another question, Carlos, for Rodrigo? Uh, no, not this year. Okay, Thank good. You. You're welcome. Lady, your turn. Please select someone. Okay, teacher. Mm -hmm. Gabby? Gabby, uh-huh. Gabby? Hi, lady. <laughs> Could you tell me where the homework is? The homework? Sorry. Uh, where your what? work is? My work? Mm-hmm. Uh, I speak about the, my work. Uh, could you tell me where your work is? Mm. Mm, there is in the um, neighborhood uh, Santa Lucia in mm. Soyapango. Mm -hmm. With Matasan. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, can you tell me if Maria Leticia has been to Antigua, Guatemala? I don't know. I think that I have a question. But later. <laughs> Sorry? I I later I later later uh, ask you ask you her about the the has been she has been in the Guatemala. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. Okay. Ask her. Okay. Ask, ask her. Uh -huh. Okay. Thank you, teacher. Okay. Okay. The last one um, is Andres. Salvadorian? Maybe. I think. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Is Andre Salvadorian? Mm. Yes, he is. Yes, he is. <laughs> I think. <laughs> okay. <laughs> oh, where are you, Andres? Where are you from? Here, teacher. The for, for this country, teacher, Salvadorian. Okay. I, 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 I born in Soyapango. Oh, okay. <laughs> okay, lady. So the first question, um, you said, can you tell me where your work is, right? Mm-hmm. Uh-huh. Can you improve it? You can say, can you tell me uh -huh, where your company uh -huh, is located? Or can you tell me where is located your work company? 
Can you tell me? Mm -hmm. Where is Where? located your work company? Okay. Okay. To make it okay. more specific. Okay, good. Thank you so much. Gabby? Hi, teacher. Yes. Who will be your partner? Mm. So we have available Julio, Katy, Maria Leticia, and Mauricio. <laughs> Maria Leticia. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Maria Leticia? Yes. Hi, Maria Leticia. <laughs> uh, can you tell me about your work, your profession? Repeat, please. Can you tell me about your profession or your work? I know profession. Or how what do you do? How, what, what do, you, do, do you do in your work? Yes. <clears throat> um every day in your work, what 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 that you do? What what did you do? Mm -hmm. What do you do? Mm -hmm. What do you do in the in the work? Mm -hmm. Yes. I work in pharmacy. Oh. Mm -hmm. So it's a pharmacist. Yes. I work in a pharmacy. But uh, but uh, I'm not professional. Um, I am bachelor, como se dice? I bachelor. have high, high school. Bachelor ah, high school. degree is when you have a licenciatura. Ah, okay. Thank oh. you. Okay, only high school. Okay. And you take a shower in the morning or you take a breakfast first? In the morning. Yes. Yes. Yes, I do. Break. Okay, yes, Gabriela, do. try to complete the, the equation. Do you, okay, remember the auxiliary? Okay. Do you... Do you take a shower in the morning or in Do the you afternoon? Take... You can ask. Yes, in the morning. What is the first for her? Uh, they take a shower or breakfast or I don't know. Other thing. That is the question. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I take a shower only in the morning. Okay, okay. In in that in that order, first take a shower and after and later, sorry, and later to take to breakfast. Okay, mm. okay. Or you can ask Gabriela, what is the first thing that you do in the morning? Right. What is the first? What do what you do the, in? What... Uh -huh. What is the first uh, activity or 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 thing that you do in the morning? Yes. Mm -hmm. What is the first activity in the morning for you, Maria Leticia? Uh, the first activity only uh, get up, get up. <laughs> <laughs> And, uh, luego, no sé cómo dice el then, luego. then, then, uh, take a shower. Okay. What is the favorite part of your day? Favorite part 
is um the the moment um como el momento de almorzar the moment that I take my my lunch yes <laughs> Me too. Okay. okay okay thank you so much yes um Gabriela um you didn't use any um, direct question just direct question pay attention to the faces that you okay. say at the beginning of that question okay that will okay. make it indirect or direct okay and okay, you, okay don't forget the auxiliar uh, words that we use in a question when we ask direct questions okay okay teacher good thank you, thank you. uh what about you maria leticia we have available andres that we haven't asked him information then we have uh, julio katy and mauricio Kathy. <laughs> Kathy, okay. Kathy? Kathy? I cannot see her. She's not here. I guess she was disconnected. Okay. Uh, Andres? Okay. Andres? Yes, teacher. I'm here. <clears throat> okay. Could you tell me if it has rained in your city? Yes, it is. It's raining in my city. I think that it's raining in all, or, all of our country. Okay. And las otras dos las hice lejos de lo que acabo de preguntar. <laughs> Okay. I see. I would like to know if the project had progress. Progress. Sir? Can you repeat again, please? Um, es que yo la hice como inclinada a a a un proyecto. Las las otras dos, entonces este por eso suenan así todas raras. I could like to know if the project has progress, progressed. But it's like uh, you ask me a question if I have a project. Yeah. Um, yeah. You can change it, Leticia. You can ask. You can ask him. I would like to know uh -huh, if you have a project in progress. Uh, right now, yes. I would like to. I would like to buy a, a new car. It's possible and the Which one? On the stand. Which one do you want? I I I'm going to sell mine. <laughs> uh, <laughs> we can do business. <laughs> <laughs> yes. It's possible, no, but right now, no, it's possible when I received my the payment from December that we, that we all receive, yeah. Okay. <laughs> extra money. Yeah, of course, extra money, yeah. <laughs> okay, good. Okay. What is the other question, Letty? I would like to know if you like your work very much. Mm-hmm. No, it is. <laughs> if you like to your job. Mm, no. <laughs> no, because I in in the in the next year I think that I want to apply for a new job in another company. It's possible in a call center or in another job because from from the job that I work right now, I don't have enough time for I can share with my family. I don't have to enough time for I can rest. Uh, I I spend a lot of time in my job, yeah. So I don't, I, don't, I want to change that. Okay. Okay. Thank Only you. Teacher, so much. please refer to Andresito to call center. 
<laughs> okay. I will speak with him. Weekend, weekend off. <laughs> weekends off. Yes, there are weekends off. Okay. So, Maria Leticia, the first question. Could you tell me if is it raining in your city? Okay. If is it raining in your city? Okay. So, you can say that. Okay. Um. Well, thank you so much. So, is missing Mauricio and Julio. Are you there, guys? Mm, yes, teacher. Ready? Yes. Okay. Ask Julio. Julio, are you, are you there? Julio? Yes. Okay. Why me? Just one question, Mauricio, because of the time. Just one question to Julio, the best that you have. Because you are the one that are missing, Julio. Yeah, I am ready. Okay, go ahead, Mauricio. Okay, teacher. Hey, Julio, can you tell me what is your favorite team between Real Madrid and Barcelona? It's easy. <laughs> Yeah, but don't answer Barcelona because you are the first yeah. loser. <laughs> no, yeah, yeah. I just kidding. I just kidding. I just kidding. Okay. Uh, okay. Don't worry. Uh, simple. Barcelona. Okay, perfect. I have a question. Two questions. Two the simple question. Okay. Ask Mauricio. Okay. Okay. okay let me see. Where is my question? It's here. Ay, ay, ay. Ah, no, es que una es difícil. Mejor hago la eh, direct and, and indirect. Ok. Direct and indirect. First. Uh, ok. I am curious about your favorite sport. Uh, ok. Well, uh, my favorite sport is uh, this time uh, basketball. Okay. But I like uh, soccer too. Okay. Y la pregunta directa era what uh, what is your favorite sport? Ahí está la respuesta. Okay. I have the another question is I would like to know if Lionel Messi can win his eighth gold ball. Okay. Uh, okay. I think uh, it's possible that Leo Messi win the the next uh, the next um goal ball. Yeah, balloon goal. Balloon goal. Balloon goal. Yes. Yes. Thank you. It's possible. Some it's very possible. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Good. Really good. Thank you so much. Good job. Okay. You see, we didn't have time to, to work in the activity that we have pending. So we're going to do it tomorrow. Okay. So you will have extra time to work on it. Okay. Good. So we have here just five equations. I'm going to give you the answer. It says type the end of red equation using can you tell me? Okay, here you have the answers. Can you tell me huh, if she plays tennis? Okay, the direct, we're going to make it indirect. Does, the, does she play tennis? Can you tell me if she played tennis? That is one question, that is one way, or can you tell me where she plays tennis? Just one one of the one on the or just one of the two teachers. Well, just one of the two. Mm -hmm. Ah, okay. Okay. Does he live in Paris? Can you tell me if he lives in Paris? Or can you tell me if 
he live in Paris. It could be in capital capital C or lowercase. Okay. Uh number three is she hungry? Can you tell me if she hungry? Okay, the same here. So the same phrase is the one that we add all of them and we make it indirect, okay? Do you like English? Can you tell me if you like English? Or can you tell me if you like English? The difference is capitalized and lowercase, the first letter. Do they work in Canada? Can you tell me if they work in Canada? Okay, so that are the answers for the uh, indirect questions here using can you tell me? But you know that there are different phrases that we can use, not only that one, okay? So it depends how you, you want to make it, how you want to sound in that question. Good, do you have questions before we go? No? Can so you can take lunch. you can take which... notes. Oh. Go ahead. Go ahead. Yes, you can you can take notes of the homework if you want to do it right now. What is your question, Carlos? Okay. Uh I don't understand. What which one uh should be Right in the fill in blank. Any of them. La diferencia es que la, la primera está con capital C uh -huh. y, la, y la otra no, pero es lo mismo. Ok. Uh -huh. Solo aquí que la pusieron diferente la primera, pero las otras están igual. Can you tell me if, I, if he lives in Paris? It's the same. Uh -huh. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay, thank you. You're welcome. Okay. Take a picture if you want, in order you can complete it. Okay, guys, do you have questions? No? Or yes, let me know. No, teacher. No. Okay, no. very good. So that is everything for today. Well, thank you so much for your time, your patience, your participation. So tomorrow we're going to complete the activity that we have pending, that we didn't complete today because, uh, you know, uh, it, take, it takes uh, time to, to give you the opportunity, all of you, to participate. Mm -hmm. Okay, see you tomorrow. Okay. See you tomorrow. Have a good night. See you tomorrow. Bye, teachers. See you tomorrow. Bye. 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 Bye.